Okay, we are back. We're still working on version 1.19.7, and the date is January 3rd of the year 1. So, I got my loadout ready to go to continue working on the, what's his face, the path going towards the, uh, damn, I already forgot what you're called. Resonance Archives. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Anyway, I'm just gonna, might as well just take all of this. And we will head out. Kind of low on the vegetables, though. Maybe before I head out... Let's just munch on some vegetables here. Just so we can get that nutrition up. There. Alright, time to head out. So, the steel over here is almost done. Just gonna pop in here real quick. Get the percentage here. It's at 96% and we still have a little bit of coal here. It should be enough to finish it off. Now, I'm kind of getting low on the iron shovel, but I'm waiting for the steel to finish before I make something. What is that? Is that a wolf? No, that's a bear! You know what? You are going to be a problem, so how about I just take you out right now? Okay, fine. There we go. Now, I really don't care about harvesting him. I just wanted to kill him off so that he's no longer a threat. Because imagine coming back during the night time and a black bear jumps out of the darkness. So you don't want that happening. Yeah, so I have plenty of food with me. This red currant pie should be enough to satisfy me for a few days. And the hunger is already going down pretty quickly. I do want to make some extra lanterns as well. But right now, the farthest that I've been on the path to the Resonance Archives is basically that giant lake. And I partially completed a bridge going to the other side. So that's what I'm going to do right now is just continue working on it even though the sun is setting. It's probably not a good time to be going out. I'm hoping that by the time I get there, it should be at least halfway through the night. It is a long way all the way to that location, so... At the very least, I made at least a couple of bridges at this point. Like one going over a smaller lake and then another one is just like a very shallow pool of water. Made that just so that it's easier to continue going straight. But this climb all the way up is actually kind of long. Uh, double check to make sure I have everything. I probably should put the map in my hotbar here. And the shears. And I probably don't need two food items on the hotbar. Now I've done some burning through this area and... All that's really left is, like, some loose bushes here on the sides. 
Just want to make sure these are all cleared out. Like a burned through area is actually a pretty good landmark for navigation. Not just because it clears up the place so you, you can see where you're going. But also because clear area means you've went through there many times before. That being said, I probably should have a little bit more light in this area. Like, I'm gonna have to make some... Uh, what's it called? Some additional lanterns and place it throughout this area. Now, the idea here is that you go from lantern to lantern so that you can actually go through... I'm already hungry? What the hell? Alright, fill up this bar. Anyway, as I was saying, the idea with the lanterns is that during the nighttime you can go from lantern to lantern without getting lost. Because it does re get really dark. And I need to be able to go through this area in both daytime and nighttime. But this path right now, as it is, it's fairly simple to navigate. I'm just going in this direction. Come to think of it, I don't even know what this direction is. Like, I never checked the sunrise and the sunset. And anyway, you just keep going straight, and eventually I hit, hit a bridge, which is like over there. And this allows me to completely bypass this area. And with the speed bonus of the stone paths. But yeah, I definitely need a lot more lanterns. I need more zinc and I need more copper ore so that I can make brass lanterns. I do have other materials, like I have a whole bunch of tin bronze, but I really want to save that for other things. like. I'm going to be making a bunch of uh, tin bronze spears as well as some tools for the treasure hunter trader. I do want to... Some paths over here. Now we'll do it like this. Make it just a little bit wider. And there we go. And then we can just keep moving forward here. Like, I don't want to burn the paths on these flat areas that's fairly easy to navigate as it is. I'm just mainly just reserving it for like going over harder to navigate areas just so I can get through that faster. It come to think of it, weren't these stones? Yeah. Yeah, these items can be picked up. Like, I was picking up a lot of boulders, and in hindsight, I probably should have brought some storage chests with me, shouldn't I? I completely forgot about that. But I'm not turning back at this point. Or you know what? I need to... Like, put down... I need to get rid of these bushes here. Like, I should be able to see... Like, the lantern from far away. So, we gotta get rid of this foliage. But it's also kind of hard to burn through these bushes because they're all so spaced out.
So I don't want to spend too much time on this, so I'm just going to trim these things real quick. Just so we have a lot more vision of this general area. There we go. That should be good enough. Okay, so there is a lantern. And that gets collapsed. Yeah, definitely don't want to fall down there. Now, this area over here is full of zinc. Like, I did a quick peek through some of these caves here, and I did locate at least a couple of zinc deposits. So, probably going to go through here with some ore blasting bombs at some point. But yeah, what I want to do right now is just go all the way to the end there and put down these stone paths. Just so we can make it to the other side. Now, one thing I'm surprised about is that I couldn't locate any treasure hunters, or not treasure hunters, traders in general, in this path over here. Like, maybe if I get off the path and deviate a little bit, maybe I could, but it's just strange that I couldn't find anyone here. Not even from a distance, but I guess... It's because of the foliage here. Anyway, I just wanted to trim the edges a little bit. Trim this. Just so we have vision along this path. Now, there is like a point of interest there for something that I put a lantern on. And I can actually see the lantern all the way back there. And that's kind of what I'm going for. I should be able to go from lantern to lantern. It is still a long distance away. What is that? Oh, there is a dead wolf. You probably should trim this stuff over here. That way it's easier to see, like, the lantern over there. Still a lot of sticks and stuff that are, like, still on the ground that hadn't despawned yet. Oh, and here's one of the bridges I was talking about. Instead of going around this little pond, I just walk straight across. And then this is the start of a forest that I burnt down. Just gonna trim the bushes that are along this path here. Maybe keep the cranberry bushes. And I think this was a peat deposit here, but probably shouldn't go down into that cave. Like, I never even prospected this area. And there is a... Oh, dead bear. And the fire over there is still going. 
And we got drifters. Anyway, this is where I left off. Yeah, the fires are still going in this area. Now, I've got to be careful here because I don't want to fall in the water. If I fall in the water, then it's a long way back. Very slowly. This is where I left off. So we're going to continue building this bridge to the other side here. Oh, and I should... Just in case, I probably should take the torches off of the hot bar. So... We're about 3,500 blocks uh, away from the Resonance Archives. We just need to make it to the other side and then go right from where I'm facing. In that direction. What? Gotta eat again. These pies really are an awesome food. Hmm. Okay, where are we? Still got a long way to go. And then once my inventory starts freeing up, I'll start collecting more stones and dirt. Just so I can replenish it. Whoa, it just got, like, really, really dark. What the hell? Jeez, game. Definitely do not want to fall in the water at this point in time. Like, this thing is giving me Subnautica vibes. Even though I know there's, like, nothing hostile in the water. Unless the drifters decide to, like, swim out. But, you know, I am starting to freeze, it looks like. Oh, we're almost over there. And it looks like a forested area, so... Gotta start lighting some fires here pretty soon. Yeah, I think it's time to light some fires. Clear me an area here. I can still see these fires going at a distance. And we also got some wolves. All right, let's continue building these paths. Can we just trim this? Now we can light it on fire. This tree on fire. 
So the next time I come back here, I do need to bring storage chests. I think I aggroed this pig, but it can't reach me. Let's just get everything here lit on fire. Because I really don't want to be stepping down at this point. At least until I build like a wooden or dirt bridge or something. Or whatever it's called. Stairs. I remember words. Don't worry. All right. Just start digging some dirt here. Gonna make a uh, kind of a dirt stairway. Down some more dirt. And there we go. We can get back onto the path here. And we can start... Let's continue lighting this area on fire. Just so we have this area clear. Alright, so that should be good enough for the fires. Just gonna put a torch here temporarily. Okay, so let's navigate this area in the dark, shall we? Okay, I guess we're going straight. Let's just keep at it. Really need to get rid of this foliage here. So we're going to be doing this all throughout the night. There we go. Let's just keep moving up. Oh, this looks like a plains area. Let's just make sure that we're burning our way through here.
You know, it'd be really nice if we can just keep going straight until we're all the way at the Resonance Archives. Oh, this is a peat deposit. Let's go burn it. That keeps that fire nicely going. I heard something over there. What is this? Okay, we're in a paradotite area, which means we have olivine here. Though I'm not sure if we even need it at this point. Yeah, let's not get turned around. Oh, come on, really? Like, I don't like it how these fires are easily burnt out or spreading. Come on. Keep this going. Okay, we're getting to a more bushy area now. I would like to see this area during the daytime. Ouch. Burnt myself. Wild vine. Oh. I think a rift just popped up. Yeah, they're throwing rocks now. Okay, let's check the map. We are less than 3,000 away at this point. Oh, geez. Where am I? Okay, we're in a forest. Start lighting these trees on fire. Ouch. Come on. Stop that. Oh, damn you. There's a rift right there. So, we're gonna have to build some bridges here, it looks like. 